guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and today's video is all about the wonderful multi-purpose tool, the Beauty Blender. I just want to give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Beauty Blender. This little guy right here can do so many things. It's more than a one-trick pony and if you want to figure out what all it can do, including how to get this full face, then please keep on watching. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be referring to a Beauty Blender and I'm also going to be using a Beauty Blender. This is the Beauty Blender Pro, which is the black Beauty Blender, but you can use any beauty sponge you want. The first thing you're going to use your Beauty Blender for is primer. Now, you don't have to use the Beauty Blender for primer. You can use your hands. It's totally fine. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to apply primer with a Beauty Blender. And some of the benefits of this are that if you have texture or large pores that you really want to cover or minimize, you can use this Beauty Blender in a dabbing motion and really fill in your pores and even out that texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my primer. I'm just using the Tatcha Silk Canvas, I believe that's what it's called. The Silk Canvas, but you can also use any other min pore minimizing primer. I like the Smashbox Pore Minimizer also. But I'm just going to take a little bit on the bottom of my Beauty Blender and dab it onto my skin in areas that I want to be silky canvas. Now it's going to take a while to build in the primer because you're not having the heat from your body to really squish it in. But I love just going back over with this stippling motion and it really blends out the line of where you put the primer and where you didn't so it can be silky smooth. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna use our beauty blender for is foundation. I know it's intended purpose, but I have a few tips and tricks up my sleeve so you can get the most out of using a beauty blender for your foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump some foundation onto the back of my hand, or you can use a mixing palette. I don't like to apply it directly to the beauty blender because I feel like it definitely soaks up more foundation that way. I'm just gonna go in with this Dior Forever Foundation. I have a review on this. I will link it up there if you want to see it. And then I'm going to go in with a few luminizing drops because I've been really digging that. And one of the ways I get the most foundation coverage out of my sponge is to go in with clean hands and just dot it all over my face. I feel like if you go ahead and dig the Beauty Blender into your foundation mix, it's going to go ahead and soak up so much product and you're not going to be able to get that payoff onto your face. If you like a higher cover finish but you still want that flawless Beauty Blender-esque end product, then you're definitely going to want to put it on your face first. You can get the most coverage where you need it. I like to go ahead and cover up most of my blood blemishes with my foundation on my finger so that I can kind of soak in while I get ready for the next step. So once it's applied all over my face and I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm going to take it on its side, just stipple it into my skin. If you need any more foundation then you can go in with your sponge and then double layer and build up the areas that need a little bit more coverage. But you can already see the finish that the Beauty Blender gives and I still got the coverage that I know I can count on with this foundation. Okay, so one of the next uses for our Beauty Blender is to spot conceal. So down here on my chin I have some hyperpigmentation. I could have used the Beauty Blender to color correct, but I wanted to keep this video simple. Just take a concealer that's your skin tone and apply it to your area. So I tap it in with my finger and then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender lightly to blend out the edges. This is just gonna push it into the foundation that we have underneath without picking up too much or giving identifying marks that we built up in those areas. Next use for our Beauty Blender, we're gonna be using it to highlight our face. So traditional highlight contour steps, but when I use the Beauty Blender, I really only go on one at a time. So I like to start with the lightest and move to the darkest. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. I'm just gonna use this Makeup Revolution Concealer. I've been testing it out. It's decent. I haven't really found a drugstore concealer that I'm like, <gasps> in awe about. So I'm going to go on with the Makeup Revolution Concealer and I'm just going to apply it in the highlight areas. One of the ways to make sure that your highlight is going to blend seamlessly into your foundation is to damp it and give it a little bit moisture so it can blend out evenly. You can always spray your Beauty Blender but for this step I like to just go ahead and spray my face. So I'm going to go in with this MAC Fix Plus in the original formulation and spray my whole face. Just so I'm super damp. And then I'm going to go in with the top tapered point of the Beauty Blender and go ahead and start blending that out. I really want to keep the highlight centered in the middle of my face because that was where the sun would shine as opposed to unless my face was like a perfect two-dimensional shape. I just find it blends out so much better if it has a little bit of excess moisture. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do like using the same sponge when I do my face because I feel like it keeps everything in the same color family. It has a little bit of that leftover foundation to really make everything blend together and have the same undertone as the rest of my makeup. So even though this 
highlight is super super bright since I use the same sponge I use my foundation on a little bit of that foundation is going to be deposited on my highlight so it'll tone it down a little bit and kind of make it match the rest of my skin all right so the next thing we're gonna do is contour with our beauty blender and we're gonna do similar to the same steps that we did for highlight but I find that doing this after you do the highlight kind of controls the highlight where you place it if it kind of goes too far over and it really adds more warmth to your face and using the beauty blender to do all that gives it that seamless natural kind of finish and application. So I'm just gonna get a little closer to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Beauty Blender with my MAC Fix Plus again. And for contour and high, contour and bronzing, I like to use the side of my sponge because I can get a wider area and I, don't, I want it to be more dispersed as opposed to kind of precise. I find that gives it the most natural finish. This is more of warming up the face as opposed to chiseling out the face. Another use for the Beauty Blender is to apply some highlight. Applying a highlight with the Beauty Blender on top of cream products really helps to bring out that intensity. Glow within glow as opposed to a strip of highlight on your face. I have a video on highlights as well and this being one of my favorites and I'll link that in the description box as well as up in the cards so you guys can get a view. I like to take the top and the bottom and squish it into like a ball. Go ahead and dig into my highlighter on the highest points of your cheek, dab it in, and I like to go on my brow bone as well, especially if I haven't done my eyeshadow. The light is going to hit your face in a C shape, and I know it looks very crazy right now, but just bear with me. Then I'm going to take the bottom of my beauty blender and push it into my skin so that it blends more and looks more natural. So for the last step, all we have to do is just set our face. So to set, I'm going to go in for my under eye highlight setting. I'm going to use this Better Skin Powder by Maybelline. It is a few shades lighter than my normal skin tone, so it'll help brighten up the under eye area if it's a little too dark. Dab my Beauty Blender lightly into the powder towards the top, and then I grab a Dewy Mist. This one has oil in it. You could use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. This is just the Pixie Glow Mist with the oils in it. I find the oils really help set the powder and keep it from looking too cakey. Mist. Spray it and then I'm gonna go under my under eye and apply. And then once I've applied it there, I can blend it out and bring it down more with the rest of my skin. So just finish setting the rest of my face with the powder that matches my skin tone. And if there's a little bit excess, then you can go in with a big fluffy brush and just dust it away. So now I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup. I just wanna put a little bit of lip color on and some eyelashes, maybe a little bit more bronzer on my face and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, so after I applied a little bit of blush, lipstick, and lashes, this is the finished look that we created with our Beauty Blender. Everything I'm wearing is gonna be down in the description box, and I hope to see you guys on another video.